Too hard? You know, my only concern is for Maxine stuff. And, uh, how are you holding up? Well, let me just put your mind at ease. I didn't mention a single thing about seeing Michael with Sonny the night Claudia was killed, even mm -hmm. though that prosecutor treated me like a criminal. I stuck to my story. Yeah, from what I understand, she did more than that. She utilized her verbal dexterity to deflect and obfuscate and basically inspired massive frustration on the part of Claire Walsh. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling it would go that way. Um, just an observation. That one is kind of stuck on Michael. I mean, I don't think she's going to give up until she puts him on the stand. Well, the plan is to not, not let that happen. Maxie, look, I, I know sometimes I get impatient. It's okay. I know that I am basically an annoying person. Uh, not today. You came through for us when it mattered, and Sonny and I are very grateful. I'm depending on you. I truly believe that your testimony is, is really the only thing that's going to turn this trial around, and there's nobody more convincing. When I lie? Where? Uh, no, no, whatever. Look, when you, when you believe in something and you're focused and everything, it, you can convince the jury that I that I killed Claudia because I was defending you and Jocelyn. Right, and if I don't perform like a trained SEAL or if, you know, the jury doesn't believe me, you have your fall guy, right? What are you talking about? If you get convicted, it'll be my fault then, Sonny. No, no, no. This is no one's fault. It's my fault. This whole situation. I was trying to protect Michael, and you know what? I made it worse. No, no. Stop. I'm sorry. We're all to blame. No, no, no. Look, here's the thing. When all the chips fall, you're really the only one that, that I can count on. Right? And I'm not saying that whatever. I mean, you're fierce. And not, you're not just doing it for me. You're fighting for our son. Because Michael will not be able to have a great life if I'm not set free because this guilt over Claudia will kill him. And he's going to feel responsible for sending his father to prison. Okay. For once, I come with a glimmer of hope. Maxie really came through for us today with her testimony. She didn't give up? No, my... not even a little. Oh, my God, that's such great news. I thought she'd sink the ship. Oh, ye of little faith. Oh. Excuse me. Alexis, what's up? You need to get to the ER. Christine's been beat up again. Hey, uh... <clears throat> Remember that summer you learned how to swim here, in the ocean? I used to love this place. Yeah, when I was a kid, I used to think that if something went wrong back home, I could just come out here, and by the time we got back, problem solved. And I, I used to actually believe that being here, staying safe, was helping. But it doesn't work that way. You are helping, Michael. There are some problems that can't be fixed, and Claudia's death is one of them. I still think about her every day. The moment I hit her, why didn't I just wait or try to hold her off? Jason and Sam would have gotten there. Or if I hadn't uh, hit her so hard. Michael, don't do this to yourself. I'm sorry, Max. I'm just not used to killing people, you know? If I would have just taken a second to think, none of this would have happened. I'm sorry, honey. I have to assess the damage. We can give you something for the pain. I'll be right back, sweetie. Good. What happened? I found her unconscious and <laughs> she was beaten up. Right. No, 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 no. Please don't you don't think she wants to see me? You scare her sometimes. How is she? I ordered a series of tests and x-rays, but nothing seems to be broken. She was unconscious when I found her, so she's kind of going into that. I want a CT scan. We'll go out on a limb and say the most I expect to find is possible concussion. I'm so sorry, Mom. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm not sorry. I made a mess of everything. You don't even know. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Listen to me. You're going to just concentrate on getting better, okay? That's all you have to do. Ethan Lovett. 
just ran out of chances. He has to die tonight. I always find that life is a bit more manageable with a good Cabernet. Oh, thanks. I needed this. I can't believe Christina was beaten up again. Ethan Lovett is one sick puppy who needs to be put down. Mm -hmm. Except I don't believe Ethan did it. Jason told me that after he spoke with you, you didn't feel that Christina was perhaps telling the truth. So, do you have another candidate? Yeah, her boyfriend, Kiefer. Mm -hmm. And what do you base this conclusion on? Because I know that Kiefer isn't a nice kid. He's been mean to Michael, he's bullied Morgan. And then I went and I had a conversation with Christina and I came away convinced that she wasn't telling the truth. And then when I told Michael what happened to Christina, he went to Kiefer the first thing. You know, it's all circumstantial evidence, but you're the lawyer. I don't need to tell you how circumstantial can lead to the truth. Well, this couldn't come at a worse time. Not that any time is a good time. That's not what I'm saying. My point is, is that if Sonny decides to avenge Christina and anything happens to either Kiefer or Ethan, then it's as good as over. Sonny's gone down. Sonny. We gotta call her Christina's brother. He's in there. Wait, wait, wait a minute. We go in there, take a look at your little sister, come back and tell me it was a good idea to drop the charges on Ethan Love. to see me. I assume you know that Christina was beaten up again. I, I have no idea where Ethan is. His passport is missing. He might be running for his life right now. He should now. be running for his life. Did Sonny order you to kill him? I'm, I'm not going to answer that. Ethan didn't do it. Come on, man. You got to know that. I mean, you had, you had your doubts yeah, about Yeah, I do have my guilt. doubts, but you got to give me something to back it up because Sonny's had enough. Ethan is out of time. When I heard you were uh, back in here, I was remembering the conversation we had at Achilles. You remember that? Really easy to talk to. I was thinking about your, your boyfriend. Kiefer didn't seem too happy when he came in and saw us talking together, and he straight up asked if we were talking about the case against Ethan. Kiefer has a temper, right? He gets mad a lot. If the guy who hit me wasn't stopped, he'd do it again. Looks like you were right. I was wrong. Really, really wrong.